I think probably 99% of you do not sew when you go on holidays. Let me tell you, I am not one of these people. I am going to be traveling to my own country. I'll be there for weeks and I'll be taking all my sewing supplies. Let's see the very basics, the very, very, very basic things. A little fun nosy into what I'm packing. Stay tuned. Hi sewing friends, I'm Karina from LiftingPinsAndNeedles.com. Welcome to this channel that is all about sewing limitless sewing and I have a few things to share with you today this is not a sewing video you will not see sewing in here so if you're here for that then you probably will not want to watch this video this is more of a personal video I'm sharing some things that are going to happen in the next couple of weeks that are going to affect me very positively and also it will impact the way that you are going to see videos on the channel and it's the fact that I'm going to be traveling back to my own country which is Chile See my family the last time i traveled was november 2019 i was there that summer i got back in early 2020 and we all know what happened worldwide and i wasn't able to visit my family last year so it's been two years since i've seen them so i'm really excited about that and now if i was just a regular person living my life i would just go over there visit my family enjoy the time off relax pack your regular things you take when you're going on on a trip clothes whatnot but the fact of the matter is that I run a sewing channel and I'm not gonna just stop uploading there are about 20 birds flying here I can't turn them off and I have done this before where I go there and I keep making some videos maybe you'll get one or two less per month and they will look a little different because I really have to adapt in my home I have my own sewing room I have everything set up for filming several tables professional lights I've got it all set up perfect for when I need to work and make tutorials and do what I do here. At my parents, I'm gonna be sewing in the room I'm sleeping in, in a little table. Yeah, I'm gonna have to cut in the dining room area. I do have a machine and a serger. They, not, they are not the ones I'm accustomed to. My mom's sewing machine over there is more basic. It's not electronic. I do feel slightly limited in the types of garments I can make with that machine. The serger works really well. I can make neat garments. I can basically sew whatever I want, but it's just not the same environment. I don't have all the time, all the privacy, and all the resources. Here I have a cupboard full of fabric. Whatever I want to make, I'll probably have the right fabric for it. I also have a lot of fabric shops here, very close to me locally, where I can just go and grab whatever I need. Over there, it's not the case. I'm gonna be traveling with fabric in my suitcase, believe it or not. I've been trying to plan ahead just a little bit, some things I know I'm going to make while I'm there, so that I go prepared. I'll be taking fabric, interfacing, probably one of my sewing rulers, presser feet, rotary cutter, even a cutting mat. So I have piled all the very basic things I'm going to take. I'm going to take them in tiny plastic containers in my suitcase. And maybe if you want to travel and sew, maybe you'll get some ideas. I sew with the very basic tools. I'm not big on buying all the tools there are out there. But I'll show you the very, very basics I'm going to take with me to be able to keep my sewing channel running while I'm at my parents. So let's see that just in my sewing room on the table. I'm trying to pack and get ready. Let's see. Whenever I travel, this is the first thing I pack in my suitcase. It's my cutting mat and I can just put it there flat and then this will cover whatever goes in there. Super annoying, it's the last time I'm doing it because I'm actually gonna leave this cutting mat at my mom's house permanently now. I've bought a new one to have here on my own home. So I've done this many, many times before. It just goes like that and all my other things go in there. It's quite heavy as well, but I really think I can't live without it, you know? Here on the table, I've gathered basics, very, very basics that I'm gonna take and I'll be able to survive with these tools. I'm very basic in the tools that I use. So I'll just show you them a little bit up close. I have some tape because I know I'm going to put a lot of PDFs together. So I'd rather just take one. My ruler that I use for everything when I'm making pattern adjustments. There's a curve and a French curve in there. Little snipper. My rotary cutter. Uh, replacement blade if I need to. Um, a basic tape measure that has metric and inches on either side. That's really handy for me little bias tape maker if I need one. I'm taking some stretch needles and some universal needles, uh, chalk, seam ripper, safety pin, seam gauge, one twin needle, I think that will survive the trip, couple of friction pens. I'm taking a couple of bobbins. One is already 
got elastic thread and there is a project I'm going to sew that is going to have shirring. So I'm making sure to take a couple of um, spools of elastic thread. I don't know if I'll be able to find that easily over there. This scissors cuts fabric, it's really sharp, it's really little, it's very light. So that's what I'm going to take in my suitcase. And then I have some pins and my magnetic plate. All the little things I'm going to put into this tin and that's how I'm going to take it. At my mum's I have already some black and some white thread, I uh, have navy and some serger thread. But I'm going to take this red in case I sew something with those colours. And here I have black and white lightweight interfacing. I'll show you the fabrics just in general. I have a lot of rayon. I have projects I want to sew for my mum, for my sister-in-law, for myself. I don't know if I'll find the fabric over there, so I'd rather just take it. It's quite a lot, but it's not very heavy fabric. I think with this, I'll be able to get by. One thing that I struggle with at my parents with my mum's sewing machine is that my presser feet don't work with that brand. So my quarter inch presser foot that I'm a big fan of, you know, for top stitching really neatly, I can't use them. I just have to sew with my regular presser foot and just try to sew really straight. So I struggle with top stitching over there, but hey, I have all the things I need. I'll be able to make the videos. One thing you'll notice different is that I'll be filming in a different place. My parents also have a nice backyard and I try to film out there because it's better lighting. I won't be traveling with my studio lights. That would not be very, very practical either. So let me show you the things I'm taking to keep my sewing channel running because I'll be traveling with equipment as well. Just for context, I take what I do really seriously. I don't film my videos just with my phone. I do have a lot of equipment that goes into making the videos looking as nice as you see them. So let's see what things I'm gonna be needing to take, a few cameras, tripod, all that. It's all going into my suitcase as well. Here are all the technical equipment that I need to take to keep my channel running. I'm taking a tripod that I'm actually going to leave at my parents so I don't have to travel with that again. This is my main camera and the microphone that goes on top to get the best sound quality, an extra battery for that one. And this is what charges the battery that goes inside the camera. I have this secondary camera with this more little arm. This is how I get the up close sewing footage and that's the charger for that. A lot of SD cards. These are remote controls that I use to take my own pictures with that camera. A smaller tripod, an external drive, the cases for my cameras. This is a smaller microphone that I use when I film with my phone occasionally. It's also a video mic, the same brand as that one. It's very good brands for microphones. So I have to get all this into my suitcase. Without this, I couldn't keep going and filming in the same type of quality. So I know what I'm doing is very atypical, very atypical. I wish I didn't really have to keep sewing while I'm seeing my parents, but I've been on the channel for five years. I can't really just drop the channel. It is not my hobby. It's my job, it's my livelihood. And YouTube, yeah, it's really rough when you miss a couple of uploads, the way the algorithm works and the way they won't share your video out anymore. It just really, really hurts the reach of the channel. And it's happened to me in the past one year my husband had surgery and I couldn't upload for a whole month and it took me about three months to recover my channel in terms of views and income. You know, when I started uploading again, the views were very small, the videos just weren't being shared by the algorithm. So it's just really, really rough. I can't just, just say bye, I'll see you back at the end of January. I just cannot do that. So I have to keep the channel running. Please know that there will be a change I will be limited in many ways, but always know that I'm doing my best, that I'm trying to keep the quality as high as I can, as I usually do. I'm also going to be sewing off camera. I sew a lot for my nieces, baby clothes, little girl clothes, and I can't really photograph them to show them on the channel. So I sew for them just for fun. I might show you the things completed, but not modeled. But what is also great and a positive is that I can sew for my sister-in-law and my mother. They both have very different body types to me, different sizing, different bust cup sizes. So I think there are a few fitting aspects I can fit into my videos when I sew items for them as well that would give you a bit more variety and maybe one of these fitting changes will match what you need for your body because we're just very, very different. You know, my sister-in-law is tall like me, very slender, very uh, a small bust cup size. My mom, she's also taller, but she's larger bust very small hips so it's just very different to fit and I'm really looking forward to just putting in those fitting tips and 
content into my videos. I also love sewing the same things for all of us. That's really fun for me and I never get to do that. So I'm just excited to see them and spend time with them. I hope I can actually spend time with them and not be sewing all the time. So I'll really have to manage my time in that sense. So I just wanted to let you know what is going on. It is going to be a little bit hectic, a lot hectic, but just expect my friendly face to pop up in a different place, in a different country, maybe with different models showing you the sewing. So lots of exciting things to come. I hope you're happy for me. I'm really happy. Being away from the people that you love is really challenging and knowing I can see them only once a year is just really rough. It's been too long, it's been two years. <laughs> I even have a brand new niece that was born during this period. She's about nine months old. I can't wait to meet her. So just so much good things to look forward to. I'll be back by mid-January. For the first two weeks of January, I will be at my in-laws house, which is in a very far away city from my parents' house. At my in-laws, I have zero possibilities to sew. There's just no way. There's just, I, I couldn't sew in the dining room where everyone's gonna eat and it's just not enough space, it's an apartment, I don't have a proper place to film tutorials. Maybe I could film videos where I just show you a garment like a sew and tell. I would have to plan to sew them while I'm at my parents so that I do have a few videos coming your way in the first two weeks of January. I'll be back home I think the 15th or the 16th of January so just expect change, expect that, know that it's happening. I hope no one complains about it because I'm doing my very best and yeah, I, I'm just doing my best. Just know that I'm doing that. I hope you enjoyed this nosy into my life, what goes on behind the scenes. It is really challenging. It is hard work to keep this channel going. Every video I make it takes days and days of work and I'm gonna keep going. I'll be taking it all with me in my suitcase and I hope this was fun and different to look at. I'll see you again very soon with more sewing. Bye.